Was man. there a time, like, something that you probably went through that you was like, man, shit, I probably won't make it out of this shit, man. I'm not going to, you know, it, it was some times for you. Yeah. Let's well, name one or two. Let's let's go down memory lane. All right, for sure, for sure. We're going to go down memory lane. Shout out to AD because you in this story, man. Mm -hmm. When we moved over to uh, Pine Street off in Compton, mm -hmm. Long Beach Boulevard, mm -hmm. by the uh, Compton Swap Meet. I know you're familiar with mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So we move over there, bro, and it's just like the trenches, fam, like, Walking to school, you got the dude, the big homies at the corner, like, hey, where y'all from? Who yeah. you, who your dad? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, why y'all over here? That type of like, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah. I had to choose a fine line to, is it gonna be sports? Is it gonna be this street shit? Or am I just gonna tuck my tail and just be kiki? You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like, I had to choose between them lines and just that Compton situation, bro, it made me who I am to this day, like. Yeah. So for instance, I'm coming home with a red Chicago Bulls starter jacket, bro. And yeah. I know you know about the <laughs> starter jackets. You feel what I'm saying? Hell yeah, so, man. It was a hot commodity you man, feel what back I'm saying? in the day. Hell I'm yeah. Give you one of them ones, bro. I'm coming home from school. Pops, bro, he brought me all three. He brought me a three set. It was the uh, Dallas Cowboys, the uh, Oakland Raiders, and the Chicago Bulls. I was good when I wore my Raiders and my Cowboys, bro. But this one Friday, I decided to wear my Chicago Bulls. Damn. I'm on the other side of bullets. I'm not knowing. You know the gang stuff yeah, at this yeah, moment. For you sure. feel me? I'm young. You feel me? For Pops sure. just blessed me. It's I'm a quiet. culture, man. Bro, I hit the the wrong corner, bro. When I say I seen red rags, I'm like, oh, man. My dad be with the blue side. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know what this mean right now. I need to yeah. stay away from this. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Sure enough, I tried to hit a corner, a little alley, and I walked in the more. And you... <laughs> Long story short, sharp. <laughs> my starter jacket was gone. <laughs> <laughs> how did like? I want you to explain like how did he take it from you? Like oh what do you gosh, remember from bro. like what did he do to it take was, it? Did he just say, "Hey, you come up out of it," and you took it off? Oh or? my gosh, bro! He didn't even have to tell me nothing. He didn't have to at this moment, bro. I'm a young pup. You feel what I'm saying? All I know is blue. I see red at this moment. You feel yeah. me? So he walk up to me. It's a nice jacket, little homie. Yeah. You from the hood? I'm like, no, nah, I just go to Linwood Middle School. You feel me? Right, <laughs> you feel right. me? I just play right. basketball. You feel me? Right, right. So as soon as I got off with the sports shit, he pushed me to the ground. So I'm like shocked. Like, damn, these some grown ass men. I see white beaters buff. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit, 40 bottles going around. I'm like, you know what? Pops raised a real one, but this ain't the one for me to try to act tough. You, you gotta feel learn what I'm when to pick and yeah, choose your battles, you man. That's a smart man. Showing up, when he pushed me to that corner, man, in that alley, bro, I just looked up at him. And when I seen that hand come, I knew it was either about to be my face or the, my damn starter jacket, bro. He went straight to the hood, snatched it. I'm talking about, like, bro, this shit was on some incredible hawk snatch type shit, bro. Like, damn. Bro, I had glasses and shit. The nigga well, you seem like a big guy. Were you always a big guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, bro, I was huge, bro. But goddamn, I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Right, right, right. I just right. moved to the block. You get what I'm saying? Right, like, you right, feel me? Right, right. Your so, boy, man. So, God, dog. So, growing up in that type of culture, that, mm -hmm. you know, growing up, you know, where. You, you went to school and you probably had to walk through two different, three different neighborhoods just Facts. to get to your school, you Facts. know? What was that like? Did you end up gangbanging? You was, you know what I'm saying? Was you in the, was you in it? When did you, you know what I'm saying? You feel like you, this is what you was going to do. Fuck it. I'm about to start gangbanging, man. Because I think that's what pushes a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And people got to understand something. I think that pushes a lot of people to gang banging and being a part of something. Because it's like, damn, they already treating you like you live in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Watch, watch. So piggyback on that, bro. Like that moment right there is what showed me. Where you live at, you have to pick a side because I don't know them. You get what I'm saying? I didn't know them from Jack or Jane, bro. So it's like I'm walking home by myself every day. It's like, you know what? Now I'm hearing, oh, we got to go in the house on the, uh, before the street slide comes on because whoop -de whoop is about to come over here. So that type of stuff, it was just mind triggering to you. Oh, I want to I wanna see what them dudes is about. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, I know what these dudes is. They damn, they just bullying me over here. Mm. You feel me? These ain't my real friends over here. Mm. Let me see what they about. So when I got to school, bro, and I met somebody that was uh, on the blue side, it was a total different type of respect. And like, they stood up for me. You get what I'm saying? They was like, hey, bro, we know you just moved out here. We know you don't know nobody. Them niggas fuck with you again. Let us know. So that type of shit is what made me say, you know what? I am by my damn self. 
Like, my dad can't walk me to school. Like, yeah, a couple of y'all know my pops from cutting hair, but that ain't about to save me. Every day I got to hit these corners, you feel what I'm saying? So shout out to my homeboy Boo Boo, man, for putting that battery in my pack to start taking off on shit. Because once I start taking off on shit, it became, that's the new nigga that ain't scared. Right. You get what I'm saying? Did, that's you, the, did you feel in, and because I, I got to ask this, I don't mm -hmm. want to forget this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you feel indebted? Like once you felt like, okay, well, these niggas about to stand up for me. Like they riding for me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I got to, it's only right that I ride back. You know what I'm saying? So for them, you know, so did you feel like there was some type of you being in, in debt to, you know, who you was fucking with? Like at the time being young like that. Yes. 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 You feel what I'm saying? Cause didn't yeah. know, ain't nobody coming to my rescue. I, could, I meet up with family gathering, like, you know, family functions. I'm telling my big cousins about it. These niggas laughing. Like, you feel Because they didn't already been through it. Okay, guys, we want to thank you so, so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you want to support, please click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you. Thank you so much.